Hello there, this is John from JohnLumer.com and John Loomer Digital on Facebook. This is part of our continuing non-ending series of tutorials about Facebook Timeline for Pages. And uh, I've covered the topic of Facebook tabs, which are now Facebook apps. Featured Facebook apps for your timeline several times. Um, and even recently, I've given you 72 free icons that you can use to edit uh, those those apps to make them branded and, and look consistent and awesome and uh, but the question I often get is okay well how do I create an app and really there are three different ways about it um, you can create one from scratch which is going to take some you know, some ability and some time you could also use a third-party app that has a designated purpose like a like a a form, a contact form, or an email subscription form, something of that nature. In those cases, uh, they're often very rigid, and you don't have much control over what they look like or what they do. Or you can use static HTML, which is an app, a third-party app, but it basically is um, a cross between those two things. It they they do all the the back-end work for you by creating an an app, registering an app on Facebook. Um, and they just give you kind of a, a blank canvas to work with. So the first thing you do, just type in static HTML up in the search, and you'll come up with this app. And uh, you click Add Static HTML to a page. And I'll go ahead and add it to, to mine. All right, so we're on my page. And uh, you'll notice... If you don't see it right away, just expand, and there it is. Remember old welcome tabs? Uh, it hasn't completely left. Uh, so if you click on this and bring up the app, what you'll see is the admin view of your static HTML. So this is, you only see this. Your fans don't see it. And you'll notice that there's an optional box for fans only. So this is really more for the old fan gating, which isn't completely obsolete, but you probably won't do much of these days. And then uh, you just enter your content. So whatever you want in your app, you basically type in this little area right here. Um, and they suggest you, you know, any HTML, CSS, or JavaScript. Don't let that scare you. If you know any HTML at all, and I'm talking formatting, so the P tags, B tags, italics tags, entering links, entering images, um, or iframing in content. If you know any of that stuff, you can be dangerous enough to create your own app. But really, what I'm going to do right now, all I'm going to do is type in some text. This is my awesome app. I'm going to save it. And you click Preview. And this is what it looks like. Um, so this line here and these buttons only appear to the admin. They don't appear for the fans. So all they're going to see is this, this is an awesome app, which admittedly is an awesome app. All right, go back. And uh, so we're all done. We really don't need to do anything more with that app. That's all you need to do. And uh, say we want to edit it up a little bit. So again, expand that. Click this edit icon, edit settings. Change the name. Obviously, we want to change it to awesome app. And save it. You can also change the tab image. Now, my guess is this is not going to work for me right now. This was working for me until recently, but as many of you know, Facebook has had an issue with uh, it pulling in random Im images from other people's pages. But I will try, and it failed. So I'm just going to cancel, delete that image. Just know that you can do that there, and like I said, there are images available, um, and I'll, I'll provide that link for you. Anyway, uh, so now that's there, we can also determine where it's going to be. So you can swap it with something else. Let's just swap it with likes and put it at the top. There it is. My awesome app is at the top. And that's really it. So again, I mean, what goes into that app really depends on uh, your creativity and your wherewithal, what you can do. But, uh, you know, you can put a form in there, images, links, a list of links. Um, you, can, you can embed YouTube video. You can iframe in content, essentially whatever you can do on any website, any web page, you can do within that app. So that's it. For more information, go to johnloomer.com or you can like my page on Facebook at John Loomer Digital.
Thanks.